Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video we are going to talk about the RGB LED which we can use to create any kind of color. You could change the red, green and the blue intensity and create different colors. For example we can create a yellow color by changing the red intensity to 255 and the green intensity to 255 and 0 on the blue. So if you mix a red color with a green color you will get a yellow color so let's upload it and you see that the color of the RGB LED is yellow so before we get started make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon and let's jump right into it so let's start by talking about this RGB LED as you can see it contains four pins R, G, B and the G and D basically it contains three colors which are red, green and blue and we can control the intensity of each color that's why we can create any kind of color for example if you open a paint app like the paint app on windows you see when we create a color we have three fields which are red, green and blue and it takes a value between 0 and 255 for example if we mix the red with the green you see that we have a yellow color and that's what we are going to do in this video we are going to connect our RGB LED then we're gonna use the analog write command which takes a value between 0 and 255 to control the intensity of each color but first of all let's talk about this RGB LED as you can see we have four pins basically it contains four LEDs we have the first one which is red then a green LED and a blue LED and all of these are connected to a common GND pin so this is the GND pin which is on the right side then we have the RGB pins which are labeled R, G, B so to use this RGB LED we are going to connect the GND to the GND of the Arduino then we are going to use three uh, digital pins which has the squiggly sign and that's because we need to use the analog write command which takes a value between 0 and 255 and it only works with the pins that has the squiggly sign of course you need 3 ohm resistors we will add 3 ohm resistors on each side then we will connect it to the pins for example number 9 10 and 11 these has a squiggly sign as you can see on my Arduino Uno we will use the 3 pins 9, 10 and 11 of course you will need a breadboard to make the connections and few jumper wires so let's get rid of this paper and let's bring our Arduino then I'm gonna zoom out a bit so that you could see the whole circuit and let's start by fixing our RGB LED on the breadboard we have the GND pin on the right side but I'm gonna put it like this so this is the GND pin then we have RGB and let's connect the GND of the RGB LED to the GND of the Arduino sorry it's this pin then let's add our 3 ohm resistors then let's connect the other leads of the ohm resistors to the pins number 9, 10 and 11 so this is the R to control the red color I'm gonna connect it to the pin 9 then we have the green let's connect it to the pin 10 and finally I'm gonna connect the blue LED to the pin number 11 and that's how we hook up this RGB LED now we'll be able to control the three colors using the analog write command and to do that let's open up the Arduino IDE 
then let's start by creating our variables the first one I'm gonna call it uh, red pin which is number nine then the green pin equals 10 and finally the blue pin which is 11 then we use this as an output using the pin mode let's pass in our pins like the red pin then output and let's copy it twice then let's change this to green pin and the last one to the blue pin after that we can create any color using the analog write command so let's write analog write which takes the pin number like the red pin then a value between 0 and 255 which is the intensity of the color for example let's make it red by changing the red pin to 255 and the other colors to 0 of course make sure to change the names then let's upload the code and there you go we have a red LED we can select the green color by changing this to 0 and set the green pin to 255 and let's check it out and yeah it's working also I want to add this seashell to make the color a little bit uh, clear and let's try to create a yellow color which is 255 on the green pin and 255 on the red you could also check that using the paint app if you select the edit colors we can set this to 255 and the green to 255 as well you see that we have a yellow color and let's upload the code you could also pick up a color from this window like this one a purple then you can copy these values and let's check it out and there you go we have a purple color so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video if you have any question or comment make sure to put it under the comment section down below in the next video we are going to create a project so we will control these colors using our joystick to control the red and the green intensity and we will use a potentiometer to control the last color which is the blue color so try to think about it you need to connect the RGB LED then you need to use the joystick and the potentiometer to read analog voltages which is between 0 and 1023 you need to convert it to a value between 0 and 255 and control the three colors and that's your homework so if you didn't subscribe to my youtube channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you don't miss my next videos and I will see you in the next one.